Hi everyone. Uh, we're going to show you this one outside just because it's such a beautiful day. You don't have to do this outside. You can do all these games inside. You can do them in a small space. We just thought because it's so beautiful, let's head outside. You're going to have to really listen carefully because we've got cars going by. We have planes flying by, which is nice to hear. Uh, I'll try and talk nice and loud so you get it. Remember, set up your space first. Bring your best effort. Make sure you got music. Make sure you got a timer so that the games are ready to go for you. Once you learn the game, make sure you get rid of the screen and go out and play. All you're going to need for this game is a bunch of sticks. Now, if you're in a spot where people have done lots of trimming lately, you can go and get their sticks. You can cut them. You want them to be about six inches. They can be a little smaller, uh, not too much longer than six inches, but about six inches. Uh, if you don't have sticks, try and get creative. Think about what you got around the house. Maybe you've got uh, chopsticks. Maybe you've got uh, little building Lincoln logs or blocks or something that's about six inches that you can balance on your wrist. And I'm going to show you how this game works. There's three different ways we can play this game. One way we can play it, if you just want to chill and do it on your own, you put your music on, you set your timer for one minute, 90 seconds, two minutes, you see how many sticks you can get up to. And what I mean by that is when you start, you're going to put your pile of sticks down in front of you. You're going to take one stick, you're going to balance it on your wrist like this. You're going to try to throw it up and catch it. If you do that, you move on to level two. Now you've got to get two sticks balancing on your wrist. You throw them up, catch them. If you can do that, you move on to level three. Now this is where the balancing part gets a little tricky. Throw, catch. You keep going up and up and up. When my timer stops, I count the number of sticks that I made it to, and then I can try and beat that with my next song, or I can restart the timer and I can go again. If I've got a group, let's say there's two or more of us, I can turn this into a game where we put all our sticks in a central location like this. We spread out to the far ends of our field or the far ends of our living room. We put our music on and we put the timer on and you mark it, set, go. One person from each team gets to run in to the sticks. Now, if you've only got three people, you only might have three teams and there's nobody for them to tag in. So they run out. Everybody's at level one. They balance the stick on the wrist. They throw up, catch it. If you do it, you run back to your spot, put your stick there, go in. You're now at level two. I put the two sticks on my wrist. I throw it, catch it. I get to take those two sticks. Those are my points back over here. We keep going until all the sticks are gone. Then we count up to see who got the most sticks. If it's tricky for you and you're just not having any success balancing it like that, try balancing on this part of your wrist. If that's even too tricky, Start with one stick in one hand, throw it up and catch it. And you can do it like that, moving on to level two, level three, level four, like that. Remember, if you don't have sticks, don't worry about it. Get creative and find something else. There's one other way you can do it. You can run it as a relay race. You set your sticks down in your area, your living room, outside, on the driveway. You set them with about six feet in between each one of them. Here's how this game works. If we were doing this in a relay race, I would start here on your market set, go. My timer goes, my music goes. I run, pick up my first stick. Throw it up, catch it. If I do that, I'm allowed to run forward to my next stick. I pick it up, I put my two sticks on, throw, catch. I can now sprint forward to my third stick. If I can't get this three sticks, I've got to keep going until I get my three sticks. If I get frustrated, I can always go to my hand, throw them up with my hand, and catch them with my opposite hand like that, okay? There's a million different ways you can do this one. I can't wait to see how many sticks you can get piled on here and catch it. Remember, add the sticks into some sort of running like we're doing with the group or like we're doing with the relay because that's going to make it far more challenging. Okay, once you learn the game, ditch the screen and go have fun.